Whatever you do, do not overly deep. There are countless backpackers out there who have bought a high quality sleeping bag, but are not getting the maximum performance out of it because they do not know what not to do with their bag. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about 10 things that you should not be doing with your sleeping bag so that you can get maximum performance out of your bag. For those of you that don't know, I'm Tase, I'm the founder here at Outdoor Vitals, and I've literally been producing sleeping bags for coming up on 10 years at this point, including ones such as this. You've probably heard not to store your sleeping bag compressed, but you might not know why. The interesting thing about down is when you store it compressed, however long you store it compressed is also typically how long it takes to uncompress. So if you store it compressed for a year like this, some people think that the down is just completely ruined. That isn't always factual, but what is true is it's going to take a long time for this to totally loft up to look like this beautiful bag in front of us again. Number two, do not jump on your bag. Do not compress it too fast. If you do this, you will open up these seams right here where air is gonna be able to get in and out of the bag where all that stitching is and you're gonna blow down out of those seams. The more you do this, the more those open up and they don't re heal themselves. They don't reclose up or anything like that. So if you do this even once, you let your little kid jump around on your bag or something like that, you may seriously regret that now and going forward. Number three, do not try to get Instagram famous from your sleeping bag. In other words, do not take this, get in it, start hopping around your camp to get some kind of a photograph for Instagram or Facebook or social media. It is not worth it. You are jumping around with a delicate piece of fabric on dirt, rocks, sticks, all sorts of things, and you're definitely gonna hurt your bag. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Number four, do not let animals destroy your bag. Now these look incredibly lofty and fluffy and animals gravitate towards them. Make sure if you're bringing an animal into your tent that you put booties on them and do not let them rake or mull around your bag. These are not designed for claws on your little cats and kittens out there. I feel like this is another Instagram worthy shot here, but don't sit by the campfire with your bag. Let those embers from the fire burn something a lot less expensive than your sleeping bag. Plus, if you've never seen this, if you've never experienced this, even a tiny hole or a tiny tear in this product that is unrepaired will look, it'll look like snow. It'll just look like winter. It'll just be pouring down around you everywhere. It's uncontrollable. It's insane. Down gets everywhere. It's so lofty and so light. Do not take your bag by a fire. Do not let an ember ruin such a valuable purchase. So number six is do not force the zipper. The amount of claims that we see come into our warranty department for people that have clearly, they'll, they'll say like, oh, it's a product defect, right? And then you'll look and they've literally caught fabric from like this baffle over here into the zipper somehow and ripped it open. It's wild. Be patient with your product. Now our product right here, this is the Summit sleeping bag, um, has an anti-snag YKK zipper with an anti-snag guard on there. And what that means is that, yes, you can still get the fabric caught in it, but it will not bind into the teeth of the zipper before it stops. Meaning all you gotta do is have patience, zip this down, pull that fabric out, and you'll never damage your bag. All right, number seven here, we are gonna get into the nitty gritty. Do not store your bag wet. While some bags have a DWR coating, such as this beautiful bag right here, this is again the Summit series, but all of our down products have hyper dry down, which is treated with a wax-based DWR coating. Now we've tried a lot of coatings over the years, and uh, what we have found is the longevity and performance of this wax-based coating, hyper dry, is just flat out incredible. It's amazing. If you wanna learn more about that or pick this bag up or any of our other down products, there will be a link down in the description. But going on, that does not give you a free pass, free permission to store your bag wet or just let it hang out moist, right? Yes, it's gonna dry faster. Yes, it's gonna to continue to perform. But by letting moisture stay in your bag for prolonged periods of time, even, I don't know, less than a week, a few days, you may develop something called micro mold, which you maybe have never heard about. You won't be able to smell it, you won't be able to see it, but you can see the loss of loft in your sleeping bag. So make sure you do not store this wet or moist or any of the above. Number eight goes right along with that, which is do not store your sleeping bag in an airtight container. Let it breathe. If you don't have the space to hold it up or store it in a closet per se hanging up, make sure to store it in a king size pillowcase or a laundry bag or something where it can breathe. By locking it in an airtight container, you really increase the risk or chance that there's moisture in there with it 
that will then have negative effects on the loft of your sleeping bag. All right, guys, we are into the bonus rounds. These last two are incredibly important, and I'm glad that you stuck with us because you will get some value out of this. Um, in fact, I did this last one wrong for a long period of time, and after talking to uh, the world's biggest down supplier, essentially, um, or at least in the outdoor industry, I learned that I was doing this wrong and I fixed it. So number nine is don't be afraid to wash your sleeping bag. Um, there's, there's this massive fear that washing a sleeping bag can be too complicated or too hard or that you're gonna do it wrong and like ruin your DWR or whatever it is. Fact of the matter is um, that you should be washing it because uh, the grime from your skin, the sweat that you might getting in, the, the dirt that's just gonna be blowing around out there um, is all going to eventually get inside your bag. But not only that, if you're not storing it completely dry all the time, which is literally impossible, right? Like you're gonna be out there, you're gonna get condensation on it, you're gonna store it, you're gonna get to your next campsite, you're gonna reopen it up. Whatever it is, the down will start to lose loft due to being dirty, mold, sweat, whatever. And if you don't wash it, it will not rebound. I have literally seen in my own experiences where I've taken really good care of a 30 degree bag and the same exact bag in a 15 degree doesn't even have as much loft as my 30 degree bag just simply because I'm washing it and taking care of the product. So do not be afraid to wash it. It's really simple. And I'm sure we've got some videos that we can link up here. Can we, how to wash your sleeping bag? I don't know if we do. All right, if we don't, we're gonna make one. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel and we'll get one out for you. All right, here we go. The last one, whatever you do, do not overly DWR your sleeping bag. What I mean by that is you can re-waterproof your sleeping bag with a product like this. This is Down Wash Direct. This is what can coat the down and keep it so that it has that nice DWR fill. And for those of you sometimes that might get really nervous about moisture with a down sleeping bag, you may have a tendency to wash that in almost as much as you wash the bag. And that's exactly what I was doing wrong. I was washing it in a one-to-one -one ratio. Every time I'd wash my bag, I would re-DWR coat it. And what that actually can start to do is it can build up too much DWR on the product and you can lose loft out of your bag. So what is the right answer? From what I have heard through the industry experts and the meetings that I have the privy to go to is maybe for every four to five times you just wash the sleeping bag, you might wanna consider using a product like this. Now for something like hyper dry down or some of these that have really, really good coatings, you may be able to even go past that. So focus on washing your bag, not so much on reapplying a DWR treatment. So there you've got it, the 10 things not to do with your sleeping bag. I promise you that if you take care of your bag, it will take care of you. It'll stay more lofted, more warm, and last a lot longer. Now, this is great information, but we also have more information on this channel that we'll link right here where we will show you up here how you can compress your sleeping bag like this without breaking your strap. So click up there, we'll see you on that video, and we'll also see you out on the trail.